Welcome back to Oceanopolis. Today we're going to be working on the city a little bit more, but as you can see, I've downloaded a 3D camera mod, which was worked on by a guy named Memo on Centropolis. You can download it there. Uh, we'll be checking it out a little bit more at the end of the video. Right now I'm simply just expanding the residential areas of the city. In the previous episode I expanded our suburbs southward. That's what's to the right of this big avenue. Uh, and I just wanted to make a little neighborhood with some cul-de-sacs. As you can see I'm having trouble with the zoning tool there. <laughs> I always do. And in previous episodes, we laid out this whole rail network, and now I'm placing down a couple of train stations. It's helpful to put a bus stop next to them as well. The road tool can be tricky sometimes. Heavier industry will need water in order to develop. The lighter industry that can develop without a water connection, but pretty much every zone, if you want to upgrade it, you need to supply it with water. gonna place some more roads down so I could zone it for residential. Eventually, the city is gonna fill up the entire map, and at that point traffic is gonna be a real issue for me. But we will deal with it when the time comes. I'm personally pretty proud of how far the city has gotten from episode one. I've definitely not been speedrunning in any sense, but we have quite a bit here. We have farms to the north and a pretty decently sized urban center. And our traffic isn't that bad either. I need to convince people to move in, so I'll place down a police station and a clinic. Two things people need. Here I'm getting a bit creative and I wanted to make something that kind of resembles a trail or a park or something around this little pond. These um, 
These parking lots, these are a mod. I believe they're from Network Add-On mod. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure, though. Well, without further ado, I want to showcase the 3D camera mod by Memo. 